News just in, a change at crew are charting well in the midweeks with Come Live With Me at Me Mums and they'll be here at Radio Uno on the live sofa on Thursday doing a cover of Human League's Don't You Want Me Baby and maybe you don't know the Human League or maybe you do but you don't know where from they're a kind of great 80s electronica band download them now, trust me, you'll love them anyway, like I said, they're going to be here on the live sofa Thursday en route to the Green Monkey Trees Festival in Castle Polporic. And now you know who that in the background is. It's the Hussies. They were talking about Tony Hadley in the tea bar, whether he was in Duran or Spandau, and then one of them said, Oh, Sam Hudson, she'll definitely know. And then they pissed themselves. Well, they're probably just complimenting you on your musical knowledge. I don't know, Rick. I think one of the researchers on lawn shows has seen my driving licence. They find out my real age, I'm finished. This Botox can't hold forever. Look at Kylie. What am I going to do if that happens? I'm not black. I can't go and get a job on Uno Extra. You could always approach Radio Duo. Rick! You're all right. Just keep pushing the music contacts. Mm. So let's just take a chill pill. You know, no one even knows what Stefan's going to do yet. And the powers that be want him to wait till after Greg's funeral before relaunching the brand. Yeah, but Greg Doyle ODs on Ginsters. Or, or other branded pastry snacks are available. You know, the station's bound to go all clean living as a result. Hey, does Stefan even know I'm vegan? And don't forget, tomorrow the show is coming live from the Shell Oil We Heart the Planet Eco Festival in Lulworth Cove. And in fact, inside Sam's tent tomorrow, we've got none other than legend Langdock Wraithwaite. Uh, looking forward to catching up with him under canvas and will in fact be dusting down my wellies tonight to get well in the festival mood. Oh, I love a bit of camping. But first, the incredible V Formation. Okay, Hannah, we can have no fuck-ups on the show today. Let's just get the public service crap out of the way. Oh, hi. Hi, Dr. Mark. And then uh, we're going to do a flawless show and have a flawless week. No one does new music like we do. New music is our mantra. It's all about the music, right? Right. Um, your gardener called. He mm -hmm. wanted to know if it was four or five Japanese aces around the rock room. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, four. Um, also, Hannah, did you manage to get a reservation at Lull Lullworth Cove Lodge? Yes. Okay, just in case I need somewhere to change, you know. Uh -huh. But it's in your name, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'm so loving that track. It's very Pigeon Detectives, very Raconteurs, or even Early Smiths, if you remember them. But as you must know by now, it's had so many trails, I'm beginning to feel a bit bipolar myself. Uh, it is in fact National Bipolar Day here on Radio Uno. And right on cue, we have Dr Mark, who's here with me to answer any and in fact all of your questions on the subject. Now, Mark, we read a lot about bipolar disorder, but it's not as bleak as you think, is it? No, Sam, that's right. It's, it's not quite as bleak uh, as it sounds. Uh, it doesn't have to be. Uh, you know, the most important thing about uh, something like bipolar is, uh, is is a swift diagnosis. So, uh, if you to ask me my opinion... I've just seen uh, Norm coming down from the West Tower. Calm down. She, she was with Gavin. That bearded twat. Fucking, I'm on it! Thing. Um, if there's if there's one thing uh, Radio Uno should be uh, trailing today, it's, it's, it's this, Sam. Uh, a diagnosis, diagnosis, diagnosis. Right, OK, yeah, brilliant. Um, and I've actually had a text from Rhiannon here in North Hants. Mm -hmm. If I can read it to you for a second, it reads, Dr Mark, I wonder if you can help me. I think I have bipolar disorder, sometimes known as manic depression. Mm -hmm. Should I go to the doctor? I'm thinking she really should. Yes. Obviously she should. Oh, and he, or in fact she, could be able to cure it or give us some tablets or something. Well, uh, I mean, yes, that, that would be the first step to a proper diagnosis, brilliant. you know? Brilliant, that's brilliant. So if you've just joined us, uh, Dr Mark is here with me talking bipolar. Radio Uno's Bipolar Day. Sorry, I'm talking a bit distracted. About bipolar. Can you just see if Lorne Pettifer is talking to my producer, yeah. Rick? Do you, um, do you know Lorne? I don't think so, no. It's... We all pretty much look the same around here, to be honest. It's OK, we're up again. And you're here all day, aren't you, Dr Mark? 
Uh, that's right, I am. So please keep those texts coming in. If you have any questions, anything you want to know on this subject, then please text in and know that Radio Uno's Bipolar Day is running all day today. So there's loads of time to deal with your um, bipolar issues. Dr. Mark's going to be answering more questions later on live, late and unsigned tonight. And don't forget, online, www.radiouno.co.uk forward slash bipolar day has that handy 10 question diagnosis sheet you can just print off why not see if your friends are bipolar just to check and see what did lawn say nothing really i mean they like her they really like her the thing is sam focus groups show that you know people like to think of radio uno as one big entity you know happy entity and they think she's on brand on brand what does that even mean Rick, are those new glasses? And yeah, they are actually. Yeah, I mean, on brand. Um, you know, they think she's got great relationships with the other DJs, uh, the newsroom, the weather people. This isn't Radio Waltons. We're all about the music here. I know. I said that. I mean, you know, I said no one knows music like Sam Hutz. The music is your mantra. I said that. And anyway, let's not have a cow. You know, it's not all bad. Stefan said there's some really big problems with her show that they're going to have to iron out. What, like her inability to wear a bra? More like uh, production problems. All oh, right. Yeah, I mean, in fact, what they said was uh, that we really need an experienced producer on the show. Well, I've got Zane Cox people on the phone. Uh, apparently, Lawn's producer. Uh, thank, thanks, Anna. Can we do this later? You're going to produce her show. Look, Sam. I've got a tracker mortgage. Plus, we're trying for number two. I'm sorry, Sam, but it's got to be Rick time from now on in. So you're going to go and produce Lawn Pettifer's show? Stefan says Lawn needs someone with gravitas. She needs someone with music contact, more like. Rick, when I met you, you were producing Finger Bobs, the radio version. Well, a lot's changed. I didn't want to tell you this way. Look, they want me to go straight away. I said, no way. There's no way I'm leaving Sam Hudson after 15 years. I actually said that. Well, I was going to say it, but the coffee trolley turned up. Oh, thanks a lot, Mick. Look, they've got my balls in a vice. I'm not talent, Sam. I can't fall back on a nice drive slot for radio duo or do voiceovers for sunscreen. Look, I haven't gone quietly. I've negotiated to stay till the end of the week. Then they're going to bring in Gavin until they sort out the new schedule. Look, can't we talk about this over a caprese salad? I can tell you all about the new Radio Uno brand. This show is more than a brand, Rick. I spent 15 years building it up. It's all about the music. Anyone could get on with a few weathermen. Matt, what's this I hear about you being in Dafour? That's right, Sam. I just recently got back. Um, I only saw a fraction of the suffering that there is out there, but I tell you, I'm still, I'm still trying to recover. Um, oh, yeah, I, I remember that feeling. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I got stuck out there uh, on the way back from Cape Town one Christmas um, and spent about 12 hours there. I just remember the sand. It got everywhere, in my eyes, in my ears. I mean, every time I had a bath...